Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily dose of tech news, gadget views, and answers that you can use. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, 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 boom. I got my hands on an HTC One. Well, technically speaking, I have my hand on one. HTC sent this to me, so I'm going to be unboxing it live on YouTube. Should I do it tomorrow, over the weekend? What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Tomorrow, unboxing, live, yay, nay? Oh, HTC One, you are the best thing to come along since the HTC half? Office 365 versus Office 2013. According to many of you who have already commented on this post on Facebook, Twitter, and beyond, and of course on the post itself on LockerGnome.com, uh, a lot of you don't like Office 365. And if you didn't already know, you can try it free for 30 days. I've already gone on record saying that most of my document editing needs happen on Google Drive or Google Docs or whatever. But I've also said that Office 365 is kind of a bargain. That being said, the biggest difference between Office 365 and Office 2013 isn't necessarily most of the features you would use in Office. It's just that Office 2013, you don't have to pay a subscription for, and that might be enough to win you over. Or not win you over. It would keep you from adopting Office 365. I hate to break it to you again, but this is kind of the way of the future. Subscription models. I know, I know. Many of you said, I'll never pay for a music subscription. I want to own my MP3s. While I don't want to get into the technicalities of music licensing, software is evolving to the point where people are just buying into subscription services. The trend seems to be Spotify over MP3s. My question to you is, are you ready for this type of model for other software, like office suites? And please, for the love of God and all that is holy, don't say LibreOffice, because they just don't compare. I mean, yes, LibreOffice definitely works, but it's buggy as hell. I'm telling you, I would rather spend $100 on an Office 365 subscription than be forced to use LibreOffice again. Hey, if you love it, knock yourself out. I'm just saying that there's a lot of options and competition's good. That and free does not always equal better. What? You want more free stuff? Fine. We negotiated a deal of one free month of Hulu Plus for you right here on deals.lockernome.com. I'm assuming you guys are using this now, aren't you? You've subscribed to the deals.lockernome.com free email newsletter to find out when we post new deals. What? Did you say you'd rather spend money on something? Make up your mind. Or I'll make it up for you with this deal. Protect yourself on public Wi-Fi with something called Cloak. And we've got a 37% discount posted for it. If you're not surfing through a VPN when you connect to a public Wi-Fi network, uh, you better start doing that, because it's a dumb idea not to. That may stir up a bit of paranoia, and rightfully so. Protect yourself. Here's a good reason why. A few million of us received this email from Living Social today. Apparently, their database was compromised. The information accessed includes names, email addresses, date of birth for some users, and encrypted passwords. Living Social suggests you do not need to take any action at this time, but my suggestion is change your Living Social password. Eric Schmidt says, Google Glass critics are afraid of change, and society will adapt. All right, Eric, and we're supposed to believe you again, just like we believed you when you talked about Google TV being the next best thing, and what was that orb that never actually shipped? I'm just saying, I was accepted as a Google Glass explorer. I cannot wait to get Google Glass on my face. It's just that I'm very aware that people out there who have no idea what Google Glass is or if they do know about it or are afraid of it, well, I can't hold that against them. If there's one thing I've learned over the years, it's that you can't change culture. It doesn't happen overnight. And I don't care how in your face Google Glass happens to be. When someone finds out that you're recording them in video, they suddenly change their tone, their demeanor. It's like they turn into a completely different person. I'm different. I'm this way even if someone isn't recording anything. Which, let me tell you, gets a lot of fun when I've had a few of these in me. Uh, the liquid inside, not the actual glass. That would be dangerous. No more dangerous than drinking it. What? I'm just preparing for tomorrow. It's unboxing juice. The iPhone 5 LCD faces off with the Samsung Galaxy S4 OLED and declared a tie by a display expert. As I mentioned in the TLDR that I recorded in my hotel room the other day, I do plan on getting my hands on one of those Samsung Galaxy S4s and of course we'll do a shootout comparing it to this, the one. Although how do you prefer me doing those comparison videos? I've thought about bringing someone in by Skype or some kind of video chat and doing comparison videos that way. So it's not just me, it's me bouncing thoughts back and forth with somebody else. What do you think? I'm only asking you for feedback because I want you to like what I do. 
Android notebooks, yep, Intel says, and they'll only cost 200 bucks. One thing's for sure, Intel's gotta do something given that no one really wants to use Windows anymore. And I'm not saying that there are no Windows users out there. I'm saying that no one wants to use Windows. All right, maybe there are some people, but there are fewer people these days who want to use Windows compared to the way it used to be. I used to love to use Windows, and now I just tolerate it. And trust me, there's a huge difference. Microsoft needs to reinvent their business. And trust me, there's a huge difference. What's the future of business? Wait a second, this isn't a tablet. It's a real book! Written by a friend, Brian Solis, and partially illustrated by another friend, Hugh McLeod, it is a very quick read, and you are thinking about starting a business, maybe you're in business, trying to figure out how business is going to move at some point in the future. Uh, this is going to be a good book for you to pick up. And I'm not just saying that because I'm friends with the people who put it together. Brand empathy, always improve experiences. What have I said before? It's not about the specs, it's about the experience. And if improving the experience means getting a squeaky voice, well, then you've got work to do. The importance of the influence loop cannot be overstated. It affects every stage of the journey, every moment of truth. You know how many times I've talked about influence? It's everywhere. Even if you don't currently subscribe to this YouTube channel, you're watching this video. I'm influencing you. And I can't exactly quantify how I've influenced you, but I'm still influencing you. And influence, much like attention, is a big deal. I spoke to that very thing in my keynote presentation for PubCon this week, and you saw this slide show up in the Perillo vlog, even though I guess I kind of screwed up the Perillo vlog editing today. I apologize for that, but you guys seem to like the mistake. Oops. The slide and what I said is absolutely not a mistake though. Attention, the need increases as opportunity decreases. The more you have to pay attention to, the less likely it is that you're going to pay attention to me. That's a problem, for, well for me, because I love your attention. I need your attention. I mean, I love having this community. Otherwise, it's just me talking to other people. And I'd rather talk to you. Now think about that for a moment. Where do you spend the most time and attention and why? What keeps you coming back to the videos that I record for YouTube or any other experience that I might create for you? Say like the free Locker Gnome application available on iOS and Android, if I can find it here. By the way, an update has been submitted to the App Store, so 5.0 will be coming out very, very soon. And if you're not already using this, you should because we're doing push notifications for new videos and live videos on YouTube and everything. And our top user today is Gareth Robson. Thanks for using it. And thanks to Mobile Roadie for making it possible for me to create my own application. They made the experience easy, so I gave them my attention. If you plan on working for yourself or for somebody else at some point in the future, you might read it. Whoa! NASA has three smartphones orbiting the Earth as mini satellites. Huh, what will they think of next? No software to install, no batteries to insert. These are manually operated and compatible with software like GarageBand. Here, I've been practicing my twirl. I need to practice more. If you have a drum kit on your tablet and you are tired of having your fingers almost worn down to stumps, you may consider picking up a pair of these. More information at getdrummers.com. And look, just like me, made in the USA. Our question of the day is brought to you by godaddy.com. If you wanna save money on your next purchase, just email me first. I may have a list of coupons for you, although they're considering no longer sponsoring this show. Hmm. A couple of days ago, the user known as Divinorum asked, is Google Plus a safe place for Apple users? As someone who doesn't mind promoting anything that anybody makes, if it happens to be cool or interesting, I have seen a lot of anti-Apple sentiment on Google Plus, which kind of stands to reason, considering that it's Google, and what does Google make? Android, and what is Android? Not from Apple. And the weird thing is, when I post something that has nothing to do with either Apple or Android, inevitably someone will come in and talk about Android. I get it. Some people think this guy's God. You usually find those people everywhere. It's just that on Google+, Plus, it happens to be a healthier concentration of people who eat, sleep, and breathe anything that Google does. Not that I excuse that behavior. I post things about Apple on Google+, Plus all the time, and yes, the trolls come out of the woodwork, and I always tell them when they post something negative about something that I've written that has nothing to do with negativity, don't be a dick. Well, even if you do want to post negative things, thank you for liking and sharing this video and potentially other videos. Let me know what you think about doing that live unboxing of what is under the pile of gadgets and books that I have on my desk. This, the HTC One, potentially tomorrow. And if it doesn't happen then, it'll happen at some point in the future. We'll see you later.